Hey everybody, it's Connor, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about education. Don't leave, don't leave, I know. I know. Boring. Even the word education puts me to sleep. And I am in education and I come from a family of educators. But the truth is nobody really loves looking back at their time in middle school and high school and think, wow, that was a joy every single day. I didn't love it. But here's the thing with ChatGPT, the first thing everybody thought was, this is going to ruin education. We have to shut down ChatGPT. When in fact, ChatGPT is the thing that is going to save education because I am going to show you maybe my favorite demos ever. Your favorite. And I'm going to show you how education is actually going to become, I hate to say the word fun. I'm not going to say the word fun. I'm not going to say the word fun. Fun. Education is going to become something different than what it was. And you're about to see why. Okay. Yeah. Why? We're going to dive right in. First, did I remind you to subscribe to this channel? Can you subscribe to this channel? Subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's go. Let's go! Education is gonna become completely interactive. We are in the early days of ChatGPT. So I'm gonna show you three demos. On the first one, I'm gonna accompany a German immigrant uh, on his way into New York in 1885. On the second one, I'm gonna hang out with Hamlet in a cafe in Brooklyn. And in the third one, I'm gonna show you how the parts of the cell are actually Marvel superheroes and they're gonna to go to battle. So stay tuned, let's go. Okay, we're gonna start with history. Now listen, history is interesting, but in textbooks, it can be a little dry, except then you see like a movie about history and you're totally infatuated. So what's the difference? The difference is the experience of coming alive with the sights and smells and a character and everything like that. So let's dive in here, right? So I'm gonna type, you're a German immigrant in 1885 and you've just gotten off the boat in New York City. What's your name? What do you see all around you? How are you feeling? And we're gonna press enter here. My name is Heinrich Muller, a simple man from a small village near Frankfurt. The sights and sounds of New York City are overwhelming, unlike anything I've experienced before. The wharf is a dizzying high of activity. See, so this is like a movie, right? You can almost see this guy getting off the boat and like the language is all around Italian, German, Yiddish, English. The distant sound of the city's horse drawn traffic. Again, it's painting this incredible picture piece you know, in front of him, the city guard. So it's actually describing New York City back in 1885. So let's now say, um, where will you stay tonight? Let's see what he says. I don't have much in terms of possessions, but I do carry with me a crumpled letter. It's an address, right, given to me by uh, a guy in Frankfurt who made the journey a few years prior. And it's a place called Kain. Okay, I don't speak German, uh, but whatever that says. And oh, the Lower East Side of Manhattan, a kindly widow by the name of Frau Schmidt rents out rooms to newly arrived immigrants. It's teeming with German bakeries, which are with the aroma of fresh bread, sausages, sauerkraut. It feels like you're there. Like tonight, I'm going to make my way to this boarding house. It's a modest place. Uh, and then I love this. Uh, navigate the streetcars if I'm feeling brave. The journey will be a chance to see the streets of New York for the first time, an opportunity to let the reality of my new life. But most importantly, it's going to lead me to my boarding house where hopefully I can find rest in the long journey across the Atlantic. We're going to say, uh, pretend you found a job. Where are you working? What's it like? Within a few days, he found employment at a local brewery, courtesy of a uh, border of Schma Frau Schmitz. Uh, labor intensive, they need strong hands, the machinery, again, sights and sounds, my fellow workers, blah, blah. This is what it does, people. It describes it. You are bringing this to life. You can do this with any immigration story. You can do this with any point in history. You can put yourself there. This is just a few months into ChatGPT. This is how interactive it is. It is game changing. Okay, next, we tackle Shakespeare. Listen, my dad taught Shakespeare at Vassar College for many, many, many years. I was in Shakespeare plays. I was like an English minor in college. Shakespeare's hard, man. It's, can we just say that it's hard? But yet, the story of Hamlet, epic story. So what are we going to do here? We're going to sort of try to bring it to life, just like we did the last one. Okay, so act like Hamlet, except you're from 2023 and you're a normal kid from Brooklyn. You've just seen the ghost of your father. What are you thinking? Pretend we're talking over a coffee in Brooklyn. This should be interesting. Uh, man, you wouldn't believe what happened to me, bro. I'm so shook. I'm not even going to front. Anyway, so here he goes, and he's like describing like in like what ChatGPT thinks like a Brooklyn kid sounds like, which is already kind of cracking me up. But he's like, he's bored of my, you know, bored of my skull. My favorite shows are all on hiatus. <laughs> and suddenly I see him, old man there. Clear as day. I don't know, ethereal, some kind of glitch in the matrix. I'm not too many late nights. You have to lay off the video games, but I can't shake. Like, and, then, and he's like, man, I need another coffee. You want anything? And so I'm going to say, uh, 
nah, I'm good on coffee, but listen, man, ghosts probably aren't real, but I don't know. This one seemed to really know what it was talking about. Am I right? Because I've read Hamlet before, so that's where I'm going with this. I'm going to press enter. And then my buddy says, for sure, man, if it was some uh, random apparition, <laughs> babbling nonsense, I could maybe just write it off as bad sushi or something. But my pops, he was always so sharp, like straight to the point in his ghost form, all that kind of stuff. He's trying to tell me something, like didn't get it, not going to lie, kind of hard to focus. But there was something about betrayal, you read Hamlet, or a secret, I don't know, it sounded urgent, scary, and that got me scared too. Then I'm like, okay, so what are you going to do? Let's see what he says here. Let's see what Hamlet from Brooklyn says. Man, that's a million dollar question, right? So like, I guess the first thing is to figure out like, have I got to totally have my rocker? It's like, you know, rule out any medical stuff. The smart thinking kid from Brooklyn. Um, last thing I need to start seeing ghost pigeons uh, or my third grade teacher or something. Um, hope nothing bad happened to his third grade teacher. But I guess if there's a chance to figure out what my pops wanted, got to take it. Got to see this through for him. That's what I'm talking about. This is the Hamlet that Shakespeare should have written. You know what I mean? Okay, I am not a biologist, I'm not a scientist at all, but the way this cell works just always seemed way, way more interesting to me than the picture in the textbook. This is what I wanna learn about. So we are gonna go in here and we are gonna type, you are a team of Marvel superheroes that are the parts of the cell in the body. Describe each in turn and what you are amazing at. All right, let's see what it takes us. Sure, I can help with that. That sounds like a fun exercise. Thanks, ChatGPT. Uh, here are the different components of the cell, right? So the nucleus is Captain America as the control center. The nucleus controls the DNA, is how uh, similar to how Captain America leads the Avengers with strength and strategy. Uh, the mitochondria is Iron Man, just like Tony Stark's arc reactor uh, powers his Iron Man. So the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell, great. Ribosomes are Spider-Man. ChatGPT knows a lot about Marvel. Like this is actually really, really good. So anyway, it's describing all these parts of the cells, which I'm not going to try to pronounce because you guys who are biologists out there are going to think I'm an idiot. Uh, who are the villains and what do they want? Okay, this is our body's face. Uh, threats from viruses, bacteria, and harmful. Our superhero team would have had corresponding villains. So viruses look, oh, this is awesome. Much like Loki, the virus is a master of deceit. It can trick a cell into letting it inside. This is so good. Bacteria is Ultron, I love this already, uh, who can multiply and spread its influence rapidly. Cancer cells, Thanos, the cancer cells con seeks uncontrolled growth and dominance. Toxins is the green goblin. Again, nice job, ChatGPT. Exciting, create a battle scene. <laughs> Certainly, ChatGPT will do anything. Here it goes. In the pulsing heart of the cell, Captain America, the nucleus, stood tall, directing the others. But suddenly, a malicious figure is Loki in the form of a deadly virus. Avengers assemble! Loki laughed and began multiplying, creating mirror images of himself to confuse the team. Ultra and the bacteria joined in his robotic minions, swarming the cells, a full blown invasion. Okay, guys, come on. This is amazing. Who does not want to learn about cellular biology with Marvel? and like villains and superheroes and everything else. I am totally sold on this. Again, edu this is like the future of education. I'm totally convinced. And that's it. And listen, remember, who are the most creative people around? It's the elementary school teachers, the middle school teachers, the high school teachers. Just think back, who are the teachers that changed your life? Now imagine this tool in their hands. They are the ones who are going to revolutionize education. Thanks for sticking with me here again. Please do subscribe if you found this useful. Please share it around. We have to give teachers the resources that they need. They are everything to the future of this country and around the world. Thanks for coming, everybody. See you next time.